Life at Full Draw, brought to you by me, Lyndon Mason. A day on the Reds. When your RX3 come in, I only had a couple of days to get it set up and tuned. So I made short work of it so I can get out and hunt. Enjoy, guys. Yeah. RX3, baby. Hiking in as the sun's rising, have a good opportunity to spot deer and not spook them. I set up with my camera to try and get some footage of the red deer as they fed. Knowing they'd be going to bed down, I got into position and waited. As they fit along, I tried to get in a good position for a shot. Seeing the lead hind was keeping the rest in check as she chased one around. Three of the hinds had babies from last year. One of the hinds I noticed didn't. That was going to be the one I was going to be after. The red started to bed down. I wasn't in the best position for a stalk. I just had to sit there and wait. The lead hind had set up right in front of me, which made it difficult for a stalk. She wasn't liking the look of me. She did stand up at one point. I tried to get my bow ready, but she saw me, and it was game over. After a bark from the lead hind, it was game over, so I headed back to my pack. Those 
Reds ended up bedding down. I was in a bit of a shit spot for one. The more mature pine was really looking around. Got to a spot where I was really comfortable sitting down. Just had to move. And yeah, I just I couldn't move the spot without her knowing. So I was moving around a little bit, trying to get comfortable. And she didn't like what she saw. And had a bit of stand down for a fair while. Stand off. So yeah, it was just a matter of time. Until she got sick of me. So now I'm just heading down. I'm just gonna duck down grandmother trail camp. Fellow deers come out down down there it's feeding. Might just get to a spot where hopefully I can see watch her bed down and then make a move so there she is just there. So yeah, hopefully you get out of here before it gets too hot. I got down to the valley floor, not being able to see where the deer had fed to, I knocked an arrow ready, knowing she could come around the corner any minute. Taking my time, I stalked in nice and slow, not wanting to spook the deer. I had hoped it had bed down, but I was wrong. I spotted a young deer, under a fruit tree. At first I thought it was alone, so I tried to call it in. Not realising the young one wasn't alone, its mum was close by, so I stopped calling. As they fed closer to me, I set up for position for a shot. Yeah. Got to 45 yards on that little fallow doe. She had that last year's warm with her too. Yeah, and she was coming in, she was at 45 and then she just had to walk past this bush just to clear it for the shot and it was about 41, 42. I was about to draw back as she come into it and I think I just, just moved my hand one last time. The range finder maybe, forgot to put my gloves back on and yeah, I looked up and she took off. She must have seen movement, which was shit. Gonna go back and check my trail cam. Yeah, can't call it a day yet. I'm gonna stick it out. Hopefully, it doesn't get too hot. Yeah, it's just gone 11 o'clock. Oh, yeah, just check my trail cams. <clears throat> Pulled one, I was gonna change, change locations of it during the rut here and take it off the water hole since it's summer and it's normally dried up but the couple, last couple of months is where all the action was happening at the water hole there you can actually see where it rains sort of mid-December and filled up and then it's as it's dried back out but the deer is still there actually got got one pick of 
a nice red. I'm not sure if it's the big fella I've been chasing for the last few years, but he's pretty decent in velvet. It's not the best picture, but he's at least a 10 or 12 pointer. She's pretty sweet. That's what I'm after. I'm trying to, yeah, it's been three years chasing him, so just having a bit of bite to eat, a bit of lunch, and just going to relax and try and stick it out. Hopefully it doesn't get too warm. Try and stick it out and hopefully something comes out. Coming up to the full moon, this should be coming out late this afternoon, so. Hiking out. Not much is going on. It's getting pretty warm. Might just call it a day and just leave them alone. And this time of year, you try and do push too much too early it sort of do more damage than good so hike out put that trail cam back to where it was and yeah should be sweet thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this short film stay tuned for more adventures Life at full draw.